for the bright box. So if nobody knows, the bright box is actually a monthly subscription that you can get mailed to your home every month. And it's supposed to help like the bride to be so I'm giving you uh, a review from a bride's perspective and also from a wedding planner's perspective. So I am a wedding planner, but I also am a bride-to-be. So I will be giving you both perspectives. The first thing is I purchased a one-month box subscription. So it's $35 normally. I was able to get a discount. Um, it only came up to like $31. Um, but I'm gonna be doing it from a $35 perspective because that's what pretty much everybody else is gonna be paying for if they don't get a discount code. Um, if you purchase a six month or a year subscription, it's a lot, um, I mean, it's a lot more expensive, but in the long run, you are saving a little bit of money off if you do it one month sum, but you will have to pay it all at that one point um, in order to get your, your boxes for a month. First of all, the box is really nice. It's a very sturdy, box. I do kind of like the outside decoration where it kind of looks like a little package. But let's get around to opening it. So when you first open the box, it says you're engaged. So that's really neat. I like the, the decorations and everything and how they make it look really nice and classy. Um, when you first get the box, you'll get this card right here and it basically gives you a breakdown of all of the items that you're going to get in your bright box and I did a little bit of homework and I looked up each company and how much each item was so I could give a price comparison whether or not it was actually worth paying $35 for the bright box. So let's go ahead and open this and they have a cute little sticker that says bright box with the tissue. I thought that was really cute as well. So let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so as you can see, they've got a little bit of decoration in here. And the first thing I see is this OMG coaster, cozy. Um, and then it looks like there's a slap bracelet in here. Let me open this up. This is from Dunkirk Designs. And it's a slap bracelet that says, oh snap, I'm getting married. Um, that's kind of cute, but I, I'm an older bride. <laughs> so, I mean, slap bracelets was in when I was a kid, like 10 or 12. I don't know if they're in now. And I don't know if I would walk around with this. Maybe the bachelor party but I wouldn't wear it around every day. So I basically get one time use out of it. Um, or maybe the bridal party or bridal or engagement party. Um, next thing we have is something called drink tops. And this is from coverwear.com. And these say happily ever after and best day ever. And these are basically, uh, I guess when you're out drinking and you don't want somebody to slip something in your drink, you can cover your drink with these and it helps protect your drinks. Uh, but for them to say happiest or happily ever after and best day ever would be only on your wedding day and I don't think anybody's going to slip you some Mickey's or slip anything in your drink um, during your wedding day. And I'm not a huge drinker. I mean, I guess this would be for like your engagement party or bachelorette party maybe. But again, one time use. Wouldn't really use it again. Um, what are these? So this is a promo code and I will post the promo code down below so that if you guys want, you can actually get uh, $15 off, which is pretty good. Then this one has 14 niche wedding blogs to follow. Um, these are a list of wedding blogs that you can subscribe to, I guess. A promo code for Dunkirk Designs. So again, I'll post that down below as well. Any promo codes that I get to help you guys out if you want to purchase these things individually. Now this is called Frisky Fish. Frisky Fish. I'm a little worried. I don't know what this is. Huh. Let's like 
like a essential oil. It smells really good. It's like, it's lavender and mint. It's really good. Okay, I like, I like this. I, I really do. So yeah, frisky fish. I like that. Okay, this one is a bath bomb and a plumeria steamer. Apparently these are supposed to be samples of wedding favors. So I guess if you want to give your uh, wedding favors at your wedding of like bath bombs and, and stuff like that, it's called uh, from a place called Suds and Scrubs. They smell really good. But I don't think I would give bath bombs for um, my wedding. I don't know, I have this thing where if I get like bath stuff in the May are from, from friends, or if I get like lotions and stuff like that from friends, I start to think like, am I, do I smell gross or? <laughs> so it's just a weird thing. Um, and then this is actually from Bridebox themselves, which uh, is a really cute bride tote bag. So I would probably get a couple of uses of this in before my wedding. So I have like six months till my wedding. I will probably definitely use this not only before my wedding, but I'll probably use it for my honeymoon. So I actually really like this. So let's get down to the numbers. Okay, so let me shovel this back in here real quick. And let's get Let's get talking numbers. Okay, so I, I went online and I did research with all of these companies and priced out everything. So for the bride bag, uh, the, bride pack, the bride bag averages about $17.99 um, with, now you can't purchase the, the actual tote from the bride box exclusively because it's an item that they put in but I looked up bride bags that looked exactly like these with the little gold handle and all that stuff and they were all averaging about $17.99 a piece. The bath bombs, I went to their website and they're selling them for $5 a piece. The coverware, the drink covers are $7.50. That's a little, I don't know if I would pay $7.50 for a drink cover. I, I don't think I would, personally. Um, the slap bracelet, $5. And that's a little steep, because yeah, it has printing on it and everything, but I don't think I would pay five bucks for a slap bracelet. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, I think I paid a dollar or two dollars for a slap bracelet. So I don't think I would pay five dollars for a slap bracelet, especially one that I'm only gonna use one time. So I'm a little bit of a frugal bride. <laughs> um, the OMG drink coaster, was $5 and yes I could see it being $5 because most drink coasters or cozies um, cost about that much but for, for it to say like the OM OMG with the little like diamond ring I don't know if I would do that I think it's just really cliche so I don't think that I would like go and purchase that item um, maybe if I was buying for my bridal party but I kind of want them to have things that they can use over and over again and not just a one-time use. Um, and then the Calm, which is the one, my my favorite, the essential oil, was $14 for that. So I could see myself paying $14 for the essential oil. It, it smells really nice. And um, I like the little, little uh, satchel bag that it came with. So <clears throat> overall, for all of these items, it would have cost $54 if you were purchasing them separately. So for, for me to pay $35 for the bride box and to get $54 with the items is actually a really good deal. Now, would I actually use all of these items or would I actually want all of these items? No. There's only two things in this whole entire box that I would actually legitimately use. And that was the, the bride bag and the calming um, essential oil. And I wouldn't go out of my way to buy the essential oil. Um, so, I mean, I probably would see myself hunting down a bag. So I would say in all, like, uh, 
It's like $30 in total for the two items that I really wanted, and I paid $35. So I paid $5 more than what I would have paid if I was just out shopping and buying things on my own. So would I get the bride box again? Um, I didn't renew the subscription. I thought about it because there's a lot of different things on their website, on their Instagram that they show. Um, a lot of other people that do unboxings and they give some really cool items like the champagne flutes and those kind of things that I would legitimately use. Like I would really want to get those. But if I'm going to have to pay $35 every single month to finally get a good box, I don't think I would invest in something like that. Um, and it's just my personal opinion. Some people like these catchy cliche things and that's perfectly fine. But I, I look at it from a, a perspective of, you know, I am a mother, I am a planner, I am somebody who doesn't buy things just because I feel like having it on a whim for that one day. Like, it needs to have an actual legitimate use for me. I need to be able to use this over and over again, not just one time and then that's it. So, um, that is my, my review for the bride box. Um, I didn't get it again, so... I don't know if I will. Um, I, I would like maybe a preview of what they're gonna be releasing for that month. And if I'm interested, then I'll pay for that. But um, for people just to say, oh, like I'm gonna pay for that month and then hope and pray that I get something good that I'm actually gonna use, I, I, I don't see myself purchasing it. So, um, I and I've done subscription boxes before. We've done the, um, like for, not Think Geek, but for Loot Crate and for a couple of other places we've done subscription boxes for. And we actually like what we get and they do give us a preview. They kind of say, this box is going to be this themed. So, um, and then we kind of look forward to like, yeah, I want to purchase it that month or no, I don't want to purchase it that month. So I think that Bride Box should do something similar to that, especially because there's competition. There's other Bride Box companies out there that do you know, bride type boxes. Um, and I might think about getting one of those just to see what items they have. Um, but it seems like it's like with bride box, it's a hit and miss. Like you may get good items, you may not get good items. Um, and, it, and it seems a lot more that it's just um, businesses promoting their, their items um, instead of it just being geared for the bride itself. So um, but that's my review. And so that's all. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'll be doing more unboxing on different items um, as I get them for my wedding. And I'll be doing a, a vlog from a bride and wedding planner perspective on preparing for the wedding and giving you lots of helpful tips um, from a bride, uh, wedding planner's perspective so that you guys can get helpful tips and tricks that you may not be able to get anywhere else. So with that being said, that's all I have for today.